Horses and drivers on the track for race two. Claiming pace, one claim on number one, Survivor Vision. George Brennan drives for Brian Nixon and Aubrey Friedman. Number two is Scratch due to sickness. Here's number three, Set the Agenda. On by the MJGB Racing Stable with Mike Lachance. Number four, Raining Shark, co-owned by Victor, De Elegant Stables, Sampson Street Stables, and Ian Cone, Luke Wallet. Number five, Richard Critelli's Bankers Trust with Dave Miller. Number six, Marshall Dill, owned by Berend, Lakova, and Menino with Eric Ledford. Number seven is Melton Lucian Day, owned by Tomasa's Spats, Smart Money Stable, and Dolan, make the driver Danielle Dubay. Number eight is Defending the Cave Pan, owned by Tom Cullinan, John Campbell up. And one claim entered on the nine horse Top Notch Kyle, owned by Mark Kismodal and James Slendoran. Mark Kismodal is in the sulky. It's post time for tonight's second race, a field of claiming pacers. They're all lined up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off, number eight, defending the cave pan. Very sluggish at the start, and he trails in the early going. A survivor vision fires out to protect the inside for the early lead. Up on the outside is Raining Shark, who's moving towards second. Set the agenda has gotten away in the pocket in third. And Melton Luciande up on the outside fourth. He now drops in at the rail. He's racing in front of Bankers Trust, who's come out racing in fifth. Sixth in behind him is Marshall Dill, who's reserved early as they pace past the opening quarter in 27 seconds flat. In seventh is Top Notch Kyle, and defending the cave pan has dropped way behind, trailing the field as they head to the backstretch, moving toward the half mile marker. And it's Raining Shark who's cleared the lead here. He's a length and a half in front. Survivor Vision sits right in behind him, drafting in the pocket in second. And then it's set the agenda following third. On the move up on the outside is Bankers Trust, who comes first over. And Melton Luciande quickly grabs that cover toward the outside as they pace past the half mile marker, 56 and 2. And Marshall Dill is also on the move on the outside. He's now second over, just five lengths from the lead. Following him from the back of the pack is top-notch Kyle, who's seventh and far behind, trailing the field, defending the cave pan as they come around the far turn with three-eighths to go, and Raining Shark leads it. Survivor Vision has kicked out the earplugs right there, riding the pocket as long as possible. Marshall Dill forced into an early three-wide move behind dull cover and set the agenda slides up. He's third on the inside, off three-quarters of 125 and one, and they come to the top of the stretch, and Raining Shark has the jump on him here. He's two lengths in front of Survivor Vision who's angled out and Marshall Dill tries to rally on the outside. Survivor Vision between horses getting up. Marshall Dill surging on the outside. These two are slugging it out. Marshall Dill on the outside with Survivor Vision. It's Marshall Dill up in time to win. Returning to the winner's circle, number six, Marshall Dill. Six-year-old gelding by Dexter Nukes. Otto Mahalo by Log. On by Berend, Lakova, and Menino of New York. Justin Abbott, the trainer, and Eric Ledford is in the sulky. For Marshall Dill, that's two in a row at the Big M this season. Time for this mile, 152 and four-fifths. Second race is the IMTT Bayonne Handicap. In the winner's circle to make the presentation, we welcome Kent Hoffman, Vito Margatondo, Randy Waters, Jamie Coleman, and James Coleman, Jr., all presenting to the winning connections of Marshall Dill and driver Eric Ledford. Number six, Marshall Dill, Ken Workington's selection pays 560, 380, 240. 